Hello all, Mr. Fox here. Today we're going to talk about the comet. Uh, this comic book called The Comet, then this story, is actually more about this guy here. The Hangman. So, interesting thing, on what's displaying on the cover here, there's actually a letter from the author on the inside of this comic book that explains that people will not like this comic and will be offended by it. Uh, the reason for this, oh, this was made in 1983, by the way. So, uh, the reason for this is this guy here is called the Hangman, and, uh, it graphically depicts child abuse. So, when we turn the page, you can see that uh, this guy is an adult, that was, and he's waking up from a nightmare, you see. Now, uh, I'm not going to show you the panels where the child is getting beaten by his father, obviously. That would probably make YouTube really mad. So, <clears throat> anyway. The abusive father uh, redeems himself in the end by doing a good deed and putting on his old costume and saving another child trying to show his son that he's really not a bad guy. You see, the reason why the old superhero that you see here uh, was beating his son was because he grew older and as an old man he would lose fights to criminals and he wasn't doing very well as a vigilante and he would take out that frustration on his son. So. The comet here, actually, is way over here somewhere. And the comet comes back, but he hasn't aged at all because something happened to him. He was altered by some chemicals and stuff, and he doesn't age. And he also got sent to another planet. Now, these heroes are not your typical heroes. And they're not your typical heroes because these heroes, unlike Superman and Batman, you know, the thing about Batman, Superman, and some of the Marvel heroes is they're against killing people. Now, except for, like, the Punisher from Marvel Comics. He doesn't care. These heroes kill the villains. They just straight up kill them. They don't, uh care about whether or not it's morally right to execute a criminal or not. They do it anyway. So, the comet here talks about how he would just burn criminals to death with his comet powers and not care. And up here in this panel here, he's remembering doing that and he's saying, you know, when I started my fiery crime-busting career, I was a butcher. Every bit as ruthless as the savages I hunted. And the reason why he says that is because, like I said earlier, he would just burn them to death. That's a really interesting take for a superhero. Because, you know, the comet does not give a fuck. He's just going to kill you. Now, when he went to another planet, and he learned to change his ways, uh, well, he comes back, and the woman he was in love with is an old woman now, but she still has feelings for him. Anyway, moving on. Here's more of the comment remembering being a hero and up here you can see him burning people to death and get a better view of that right and he's talking about how he regrets behaving that way and he probably shouldn't have gone around murdering criminals and he talks about how he used this power to save a planet from ruthless invaders and of course 
he marries an alien princess because he doesn't feel he'll ever be able to make it back home to Earth again, which he eventually does. But, uh, anyway... <laughs> Mr. Justice, old advertisement for another comic they were going to put out. And there's the fly and some other comics they were going to put out. Anyway. <clears throat> so, this was a very controversial comic from 1983. And it was by the Red Circle Comics Group. Uh sort of an interesting comic to talk about. Especially when I was younger, because... Uh, this touches on difficult and controversial issue of child abuse. But also because... With the comic, you know, I've never encountered a superhero that killed people. That was... Interesting. Well, except for the Punisher. But, you know... <clears throat> I... Uh, as a younger man, when I was a kid, growing up through the 80s, I would usually read the X-Men and uh, probably some Batman or Superman comics. The most mainstream heroes. Occasionally Daredevil. Rarely would I read things like this. This... Uh, is another one of the comics that I got in the bargain bin. One thing, when I was a kid, I loved bargain bin comics, because I would get a special deal, like I could talk to the guy at the store, and he'd give me 15 comics for a dollar. I was like, yeah, a dollar for 15 comics. And sometimes the comics in the bargain bin were actually really good. Uh, this isn't necessarily a bad comic. Just a very controversial one for the time it was written. You also have to keep in mind this was the 80s. Things were different then. But uh, anyway, this is fairly interesting. I hope you liked seeing this comic, and I was glad I got to share it with you. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it. I love talking about old strange comics that uh, exist in my collection. Given the controversial nature of this particular comic, I would say it was strange enough to put on the list in this video logging YouTube channel I've started. I actually started this channel because, you know, uh, I stored my comics at my sister's place for a while because I was sort of homeless at the time. Long story, I was homeless for five years. That's no longer the case, thankfully. But anyway, moving on. <clears throat> uh, my nephew asked me about my comics, and he wanted to see some of the comics that are in my collection. So if he's watching this channel, now he gets to see that. I'm glad that my nephew was interested in comics. I fear that comics as a f physical media will eventually disappear as everything gets transferred to digital media. I personally like having a physical comic. I don't like having digital comics, but that's just me. Another thing to keep in mind with digital comics is they can update or change the digital files anytime they want. But when you have a physical hard copy, such as this one here, then you get to see it for what it is, and you get to see it's an altered format. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. See you next time, and have a nice day. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time.